welcome back to another video. Now, if you are a Once Upon a Time fan, um, you're probably very happy right now. And if you're like me, then you've probably been um, watching Once Upon a Time related videos all day. Have you not been doing that? Wow, okay. But anyway, um, Once Upon a Time Season 7 premiered last night with its premiere episode, High Period Heights. And I watched it. Um, I posted my reaction on this channel, so it'll be around here or here or at the end of this video or something. Just go and watch that. Um, but fair warning, there's a volume warning because I was screaming. Not even kidding. But anyway, today I'm going to be giving my review of the episode. Um, Hyperion Heights, if you don't know, is set 10 years in the future. Um, and the main stars are Lana Perea, um, Andrew J. West as Older Henry, Gabriella Amor, and... Um, just a whole bunch of other actors and actresses. If you don't want to know the whole list, then look it up because I'm not going to name them all because this video will be 20 minutes long. But it starts off with um, Jared S. Gilmore, who plays younger Henry in seasons 1 through 6 of Once Upon a Time, talking to his mother, Regina, and being like, I want to write my own story. Like, I'm not in any storybook. Story I just said storybook. Storybook. I want to be in a storybook. Um, it's, it's my adventure. I want to... Um, I want to write my own story, I want to be a hero type thing, and then he throws this magic bean and boom, a portal appears, and he only has one magic bean, so obviously he won't be able to get back, and he said, that's the adventure I'm looking for, which I think was great. I have stated before that I love the relationship between Lana Perea and Jared Gilmore. I think that it is very um, believable as a mother and son relationship on TV, but Lana Perea has also stated that she thinks of Jared as her son. And Jared has also said the same about Lana. So that just says something right there. As for the new actresses and actors and so on, um, Diana Ramirez, who plays Cinderella, I think is great. I was very nervous for the new Cinderella arc because honestly, I wasn't a fan of that arc in season one. And so I was like, why are you bringing back Cinderella? Like, no, you don't do that. Um, but honestly, I love the new version of Cinderella. Um, Yana Ramirez plays not your typical Cinderella. She's more of a savage Cinderella, as I like to call her. She's very adventurous, spontaneous, um, feisty type thing. She's not your typical princess that you'd see um, in any other Disney film. It's a very unique take on Cinderella, which I think Adam and Eddie and the other writers did a great job producing and writing and stuff like that, so kudos to them. Great job. As for the evil stepmother, played by Gabriella Amor, um, I, like I said, I wasn't sure about the whole Cinderella thing, but Gabriella really came through as Lady Tremaine, and I honestly love her character. I just love the whole Cinderella arc in general, um, but we didn't get to see very much of the stepsisters in this um, I, was just, I was about to say season episode, but we did get to see um, Drizella, I believe. Was it Drizella? Yes, it was. Um, I cannot pronounce the actress, the actress's name who plays her, so I'm not going to try because then everyone will freak out. Um, but th that's all for the new cast. One thing I gotta say is um, Andrew J. West did an amazing job playing Henry. Um, I think that he is perfect. It was cast perfectly. He, um, and when they went, when he went into Ronnie's the first time, and yes, I know a lot of people have been saying I've been pronouncing Ronnie's wrong. Well, guess what? That's just for you. It's Ronnie's, okay? Um, we see that their relationship between Ronnie, a.k.a. Regina, and Henry is still there. Not as much, obviously, because they're cursed, but still. Um, one thing I didn't like about this episode, though, is that it didn't really focus on Lucy and Henry a lot, which I was like, I mean, come on. Like, why would you not do that? She's Lucy and he, she's your daughter. Why are you not focusing on that relationship? But with that being said, I do understand that they wanted to introduce the new cast, which they did a great job as well. Um, but like I said, one of the things that I wish they did more was focus on Henry's story in Hyperion Heights. They did a lot about the flashbacks. The flashbacks were amazing, especially the scenes with Henry using swords and fighting with Cinderella, and then when um, 
Lady Tremaine killed the prince and then tried to pin it on Cinderella. I was just like, what is going on? This is like the best thing ever. Like, oh my gosh, yes. Like, savage. Like, I love I loved this take on the new Cinderella and I love everything about it. I just really wish they focused more on Hyperion Heights instead of the flashbacks. But I understand why they need to put the flashbacks in for this episode because it's the first episode of season 7 and it's set 10 years in the future. So everyone wants to know what happened in the Enchanted Forest and where Henry went when he went through the portal and all that. So I do understand why they did that. I just really wish they focused a bit more on Ronnie, played by Lana Perea, because I've stated before and I will state again that Lana Perea is my queen. Lana Perea is the reason I am watching season 7. If Lana Perea was not in season 7, I would not be watching it. Lana Perea is an amazing actress and I think that she deserves so many awards for her outstanding acting in Once Upon a Matter of Time. It is absolutely amazing from playing Ronnie to playing the evil queen from playing regina from playing bandit regina to, from playing it's just amazing like she is absolutely amazing that woman is bloody brilliant i'm just like what happened um like what happened to roni's story like they didn't touch on it at all last night i was just like what is going on like bon Perea is getting no screen time and i was actually so mad i'm not even kidding i was screaming at my like i was screaming at the tv i was like where is roni like i literally ronnie i mean wow i say that so many times i just oh my gosh i say things the way it's spelled so if i miss say something that's why but like i was like oh my gosh like where is this um but i i screamed so loud when Killian Jones, aka Officer Rogers, played by Colin O'Donoghue, came on the screen. I was dying. I was about to fall out of my wheelchair. I was screaming so hard, and I'm pretty sure I woke up my little sister, but, so, sorry, Maria. But, um, I loved the whole take on Officer Rogers and how, um, spoiler alert ahead, when he takes Lucy Storybrooke and sees the picture of Emma, my heart broke into a million pieces. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so happy right now. Um, like, what is going on? Um, also, I, I, one thing I didn't understand about this episode was that where was Robert Carlyle? He was literally in two scenes. He said two words. He was like, it was like, meet your new partner, and then Robert said something like, nice to meet you, or something. Then they shook hands, and boom, Robert was gone. Like, why aren't they focusing on Ronnie, Killian, or Officer Rogers, and um, Weaver? Like, really? By the way, if you don't know who Weaver is, that's Rumpelstiltskin's curse name in Hyperion Heights. So, yeah. Um, but, honestly, overall, overall, I love this episode. Check out my reaction because it's a 25-minute video, granted, but I'm pretty sure you'll be entertained because I was screaming and dying and all of the above, and my emotions were all over the place from seeing Mona Perea, to, from seeing Colin O'Donoghue, from seeing Robert Carlyle, to seeing Deanna Ramirez, and yeah, I was just kind of dying. Um, what did you guys think of the episode? Like I said, overall, I was very impressed. What did you guys think of the new Cinderella arc? Because honestly, I was scared for the Cinderella arc because I wasn't sure what's what's gonna happen. But yeah, overall the writers really impressed me and I cannot wait for episode two. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, go down there. Of course, my phone has to ring. Um, but go down there and hit the subscribe button because that'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys later. Bye.